Hello student. Today we discuss about inert pair effect. Elements of group 13 to 18 of the periodic table are collectively called P blocks elements. The general electronic configuration of the P block elements is NS2, NP1 to 6. The P block elements show a variety of oxidation states both positive and negative. The maximum oxidation state shown by a P block element is equal to the total number of valence electrons. The first member of each of group 13 to 17 of P block differ from the remaining members of their corresponding group in two major respects. These are number one small size and the number two is Absence of vacant d orbitals in valence shell. The important oxidation states exhibited by p block elements are shown in the table. In this table, we can see that boron and the other elements of group 13 has the group oxidation state plus 3, carbon and other elements of group 14 has the group oxidation state plus 4. It is seen that the that while the positive oxidation state increases, the negative oxidation state decreases on moving from left to right across the pH. In boron, carbon and nitrogen families, the group oxidation state is the most stable state for the lighter elements in the group. However, the oxidation states 2 unit, units less than the group oxidation state becomes progressively more stable for the heavier elements in each group. The occurrences of oxidation state 2 units less than the group oxidation state is due to the inert pair effect. The heavier metals like tin, lead, etc. are known to show different oxidation states due to inert pair effect. The lowest oxidation states of such elements is more predominant due to non-participation of the S electrons in the formation of bonds. The atoms of group 13 elements have three valence electrons. Plus 3 should be the most common oxidation state of these elements. However, due to the small size of boron, it cannot lose its valence electrons to form B plus 3 ion. Rather, it combines with other atoms to form covalent bond. Except boron, the other elements of the group also exhibit plus ox 1 oxidation state. As we move from boron to thallium, the plus 1 oxidation state becomes more stable. The plus 1 oxidation state is exhibited when the S electrons of the valence shell do not participate in bond formation. Such reluctance on the part of electron pair to participate on bond formation is called inert pair effect. The inert pair effect becomes more predominant down the group because the increase in nuclear charge is not neutralized by the increase in distance due to which the S electrons of the valence shell become more penetrating and hence show reluctance for participation in bonding. The elements of group 14 also exhibit an oxidation state of plus 2. It is observed that the lower oxidation state becomes more stable with increase in atomic number down the group that is germanium less than tin less than lead. This is due to the inert pair effect. The effect of the inert pair of electrons is most pronounced in the element with the highest atomic number that is lead. Thus, there is a decrease in stability of plus 4 oxidation state and increase in stability of plus 2 oxidation state as the atomic number increases on descending the group. The lower valences are more ionic because the radius of M plus 2 ion is greater than M plus 4 ion. 
the stability of the plus 5 oxidation state of group 15 elements decreases with the increase in atomic number because of the increased reluctance of the two ns electrons to take part in chemical bonding this is termed the inert pair effect pentavalent antimony compounds are less stable than the corresponding trivalent compounds while bismuth forms pentavalent compounds only with the highly electronegative element oxygen even then it is rather unstable such a pair of s electrons in the outermost quantum level are to be unpaired by supplying sufficient energy before they can participate in bonding it is this amount of energy which is required to unpair these two pairs of ns electrons that the increase gradually from nitrogen to bismuth and in bismuth it becomes so high that it can be supplied only in its reaction with oxygen the energy of formation of bismuth oxygen bond being very high thank you